Well, from the disaster strikes to the time help arrives for injured, now a new report from a Kansas City task force has a plan to make the fire department's first responders more efficient. Lindsay Shively heard that plan today. She joins us now with more. Lindsay? Mark, response times still just aren't up to snuff. A few years after merging the Kansas City Fire Department with the city's ambulance system, today city and fire department leaders presented their plan to make the department work better and save lives faster. Along with the growing pains of the fire department and ambulance services come response times that aren't fast enough, especially in outlying areas such as corners of the Northland. We rely on mutual aid responses. Uh, that's not really the way a city of our size should operate. So four pilot projects are ready to launch to discover if more resources are needed or if current resources can just be used better. The first sends one vehicle instead of two on emergency calls where neither advanced life-saving care nor transportation to a hospital is needed. There's no need to send that duplication. The second pilot project fixes a frustrating problem. There are paramedics who already ride on pumpers but can't act as paramedics. Kansas City protocols did not allow them to do, do so. And it's not as just easy to, to say let's, let's allow them to do that because they are not strategically located throughout the city. Now certain paramedics will be assigned to certain pumpers on a set schedule. The third pilot project will use federal grant money to upgrade 15 firefighter EMTs to provide more advanced life-saving skills. Right now, an advanced life-saving ambulance must transport any patient. The fourth pilot project would allow a basic life-saving ambulance to take non-emergency patients from the hospital to a lesser care facility like their home or a nursing home. I think there certainly may be too few resources for emergency medical care. Now officials will evaluate whether it's a question of quantity or the quality of their action plans. Response times still fall just below city and department standards, which would be responding in nine minutes or less 90% of the time. Right now, response times only hit that goal 80% of the time. These pilot projects will all start and stop at different times to study their true effects and hopefully get the patients faster. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.